All right, here we go. Take a run over here, see what we got. You all right, Mr. Vicker? Need us to slow down? What are you implying? I am perfectly fit. My uh, knee is just acting up. There's no shame in being older, Mr. Vicker. See so we can get over here. Pretty far away. I need neither your advice nor your pity, young lady. Candid to Ella. What do we got down here? Scrap mechanical. If I can sw slip by these guys without being noticed. I'd like to save ammo if possible. Got it. Head to town. Is this thing going to turn around or what? Marauder ringleader. Seems pretty tough. He looks pretty armored up. Let's see if we can sneak past here. So far, so good. All right, let's keep walking. As we were, oh, a Raptodon Mauler. Let's try to avoid that if we can. Seems like we did it. What is this place? This place is interesting. Amber Heights, that away. Let's get low. Got a candid alpha there. I kind of want to discover this place real quick, if we can. Just so we have, you know, fast travel point, an extra fast travel point. I think once we get close enough here, we'll, we'll have it discovered. Eh, what the heck, let's take out these cannons real quick. Good work, guys. Good work. There we go. Bayside Terrace Ruins discovered. That's what I was hoping for. You guys want to check this place out real quick, or maybe we should come back later? I'm sure we'll get sent here. Welcome some free ammo and some bits. What's this? Plasma carbine? Oh no, let's not sleep. Nice of you to offer though. All right, let's take a look here. See how that plasma carbine Stacks up here. Takes energy. This takes heavy. Energy, energy, light. Yeah, I thought I, I thought that sounded familiar. I've already had that. Let me take a look and see what they're carrying. Here, real quick. Two fifteen. It's probably better than anything we have. A uh, tactical shotgun, but she has to get pretty close for that. He's got 198 with that. Looks good to me. All right, let's keep going. That looks safe. Oh, 
who's this guy? He's a lookout. Not a very good lookout. Probably a ringleader nearby. What are these right here? Fire knows. Well, that took we took took them out pretty quick. Used barrels and all kinds of stuff. Look at that. Tactics are getting better. I was hoping for some good stuff here, but apparently not. Apparently they're just guarding the road. Oh well. It's too bad. I thought this guy down here might have. I didn't get to search this guy yet. Where'd he go? Oh, he's back here. Pile of ashes. There it is. Wrapped in Mauler over here, which means there's probably another one somewhere. They're kind of like the wolves from the long dark in that way. Is we go this way or do we go up and over? I think we go up and over. High ground. Always try to take the high ground. As long as it's not infested. What's these over here? What are these? This is interesting. Oh, it's heavily guarded is what it is. Goon, look out. See who else we got here. Goon, Vandal. Alright. They're all pretty much right there. Here goes nothing. Nice. I'm Keith. Never anger a man of the cloth. <laughs> oh. That's poor body. Well, I think we got them all. Alright, where am I going? Oh, maybe not. Oh, I love that. Take out the knees and then just shoot them in the head from that point forward. Flaw tutorial. During your adventures, things may happen to your character that can trigger a flaw offer. Taking the flaw is optional but doing so provides you with a perk. The choice is yours. Hmm. Coercive weakness. Suffering too many coercive burns has made you weak against coercive damage. Coercive damage received plus 25. Reward one perk. Hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Weird science. Let's see here. What do I want? Plus 10 dialogue skills. Ooh, that might be a good one. Yeah, let's do plus 10 dialogue. I'm a dialogue whore. What can I say? 
All right, so I can talk about, I can talk even more about how badly my corrosive burns hurt. and ammo, bits and ammo and bits. Kind of worth it. Oh, wait, I don't want to do that. Here we go. All right, let's take a look here. See what that pistol is. Wow. Pretty good for a freaking pistol. Only six shots, though. So... But the damage is high. 112 per shot. That's pretty high. The pistol's pretty high. I'm not going to lie about that. It's uh, not too shabby. What do we got up here? Anything? Anything else? Ooh. What do we got here? A dead eye assault rifle. Okay. 198. I think that's what uh what's his name has, isn't it? Hmm. I want to use that for something. What do I want to switch it out with? Flamethrower? Shot cannon or light machine? Probably light machine gun. Okay. 100% condition at least. Yeah. See the wrenches? They, they slowly dwindle down. That one's almost broken. It is broken. So as you see the... The wrenches drop down here. It shows how much life is left in them. What their condition is, so... Well, that was very interesting. I thought I killed one right here. I don't know if his body... Yeah, his body did slide. There we go. Alright, let's keep going. Need to go this way. So, uh, it looks like I'm walled in this way, so I need to go around this way. See if we can head down this way. Without too much trouble. There's something sloshing around in water. Amber Heights. Replenishing that heavy ammo a little bit. Quite a bit, actually. Evicted, huh? You'd have to be a hell of a landlord to come out here to evict somebody, wouldn't you? Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and save it here. Who we got over here? Is that anybody? Hmm. Alright, control helmet. This place looks like it's seen better days. Makes me a little worried. Alright. Let's head on in. Iconoclast, uh, agitator. 
Rose. Well, obviously, I think I'm supposed to talk to Rose first. Well, hello, and welcome to the home of the Iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please take a pamphlet. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the Iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting we're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. Who are the Iconoclasts? You're offering me a pamphlet. You don't have? I don't want a pamphlet anyway. Just tell me who you are. Who are the Iconoclasts? Why, we're the only free people in Halcyon. No corporations, no shackles, no problems. No problems? What about Raptoids or Marauders? I thought everyone works for a corporation. No corporation, no pay paychecks. How do you survive without money? Uh, let's ask the first one. No problems. What about Raptodons and Marauders? Oh, those are just hurdles. We deal with them as they come. You're welcome to stay with us, so long as you can earn your keep. One big happy family, huh? I'm just looking for work. Do you have a boss or a leader or something? Or got it? Hey, before I go, I'm looking for Tucker. Have you seen him? Uh, one big family, happy family, huh? That's a nice way to think about it. Graham would be our father. I suppose Zora might make a good mother if the two of them could stop arguing. You can think of those two as our leaders, but they're more like examples. We all ought to be more like them. All right, tell me about Graham. Why, he's our founder. Graham taught us about philosophism. Through him, we came to the eternal truth. I'm glad you're asking, by the way. I hope you'll consider staying. All right, tell me about Zora. She, well, she's been with us since the beginning. I think she was our sawbones back then, but now she's more like our commander. She goes and finds people in the wilderness and gets them to come here. And she keeps us from being chewed on and whatnot. She's liable to take your head off if you screw up, but then she'll sew it back on for you. All right. Where can I find them? Why are you here and not in Stellar Bay? Um, where can I find them? Graham's place is in the large building straight back. Zora's sometimes there talking with him, but usually she's in the triage clinic next door. All right. Why are you here and not in Settler, or Stellar Bay? Oh, Graham settled here a long time ago. Shoot, I wish I had a pamphlet to give you. It's all in there. I wasn't around back then, but they say a lot of the old MSI corporate folks died here. He calls it a spiritual metaphor, something about rising from the ashes. Okay, got it. Before I go, I'm looking for a Tucker. Have you seen him? The new boy. Yes, he's quite clever. He took to our teachings very quickly. Last I saw him, he was headed into one of the buildings up the hill. Uh-oh. Which hill? Up that way or outside? Ugh. Okay, don't worry. I'll figure it out. I'm gonna talk to this guy. Ugh, my stomach. These guys don't seem so bad. Welcome to the Emporium. I'm Bronson. Emporium, huh? Let's see what we've got. Let's see what he's got. Bet you he doesn't give me nearly as much a... Wow. Yeah, I bet you I don't get those prices. I'm only trying to offload junk, not actually buy more junk. Mr. Power. Changes the damage type dealt to plasma damage. Interesting. Oh, melee weapon, okay. Yeah, what about this one? Toughened? Physical armor rating plus three, or up three, yeah. Increases both the armor and the helmet armor. Interesting. Mark seven cranial. This is only a three. Yeah, they don't have much here. Okay. Plasma launcher. Ooh. Plasma balls high. Those mobs will disperse faster. You can say de designated curfew. That's actually not too bad. I mean, I got enough money for it, but hmm. How does that work? I 
It's 273 DPS. I'm tempted to get that, but you know what? I think I'll just wait on it. Everybody here looks wore out. Ain't seen you before. You from one of the outer steads or Bradford, huh? Lie Outerstead, yeah. Way off to the south. Came from Stel Stellar Bay. Say I'm new to Monarch and leave it there. Independent freighter captain I flew in. Let's lie. You poor some bitch. I hear tell the dust storms get even worse out there. Welcome to the heart of Iconoclast country, brother. Graham's in charge, right? In charge? <laughs> We're Iconoclasts. Every soul a sovereign power. We do for each other on account of it needing to be done, not because some fancy pants manager said to. Now you want to rephrase that question, maybe ask who's respected hereabouts, I can give you a sensible answer. Everybody does what they need to do. So who was supposed to be printing out pamphlets because I didn't get mine. Oh, light, who's respected around, uh, respected hereabouts. No disrespect intended, perception, somebody's organizing things. <laughs> You got guards posted. Yeah, that's a good one. Every soul here knows to keep a weather eye out. Everyone's lost somebody to the wildlife. That didn't stop Miss Zora from picking a few souls and imposing a schedule. Be here then, leave there later. Downright on icon. In icon. Well, it ain't what we do. <laughs> Take that on top of what happened on the northern expedition. She and Graham are exchanging harsher words than usual. Makes Graham and Zora such a big deal. When the monarchists wanted to settle down and play nice with the board, Graham was the one that took a stand. He's the reason we're here, breathing free air. Zora's our best sawbones. Nearly every soul here owes her their life. She's got funny ways, but they work. He said Graham and Zora, are you a lot? Zora saved nearly everyone's life. Did you get into that much trouble? Well, let's ask about them arguing a lot. Well, sure. It's on account of how we all work. No iconoclast makes another do as they say just because. You gotta convince them. The Graham and Zora argue all the time just says the process is working. Vigorous intellectual debate. You see? Roger. Zora saved never, nearly everyone's life. Do you get into that much trouble? Welcome to Monarch. The animals think you're tasty, the fungus thinks your lungs are a great place to plant spores. That ain't enough. Look at the sky. Olympus yanks this moon about like a drunk dancer. Storms to curl your hair and quakes to rattle your brain pan. Alright, see you around. Good talking to you, Bradford. Let's not quite start robbing him yet. So I'm guessing this is where he's at and she's at. Let's let's head up here and talk to him first. Yeah, we felled it, mind. But we lost two runners and five gun hands. A total failure, then. So much for the ruins. And hell only knows where the Van Oys are. They never showed. I'm sure they're... Ah, let's talk later. It seems we have company. A stranger comes to our home. If you're looking for a path to walk, you've found one. If you're looking for a teacher, I am one. Welcome to the Iconoclasts. What do you teach? The truth that I have come to learn and embrace since shedding the corporate yoke. Out here, we survive by the sheer strength of our spirit. We have no need for the endless rules and red tape of a corporate structure. We do seem to burn through endless ammunition and medical tape, though. Yes, well, such is life. Our descendants will enjoy safety and luxury, but our generation is the foundation on which that future is built. Now, why have you come? Well, I'm looking for ways to help the people here. Any, anything need doing? A great many things, in fact. Oh, God. We could always use a hand rounding up supplies. Or... Now, here's an idea. There's an old printing press I've been trying to get up and running. 
a printing press on oh yeah for the pamphlets on monarch why wouldn't supplies help more i'm guessing you need it cleared out printing press on monarch oh yes many facilities lie abandoned in the wilderness i believe the press could be operational again with a little elbow grease and luck sounds to me like a nifty little challenge such enthusiasm yes i agree wholeheartedly our own little fixer upper will you aid us in our cause how many freaking raptodons robots and marauders do i need to kill wonderful i requisitioned replacement rollers for it some time ago huxley should have delivered them yesterday speaking of which where is huxley you bought rollers you haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. Oh, there it is. Wasting bits on... Wait, where is Huxley? It seems we're out a runner. If you intend to help our cause, I'll ask you to meet our MSI supplier in her stead. MSI supplies you? Where's the supplier? She meets us in the ruins of Bayside Terrace. From our compound, follow the road north. MSI supplies you? One of our sympathizers. A woman named Carlotta periodically buys goods on our behalf from Stellar Bay's store. Stellar Bay has caught on, but they remain friendly, though the goods now come at a considerable markup. Hmm. Okay, I'll be back. While you're at it, I wonder if Carlotta still has those high-capacity cartridges? Grab a few, will you? There should be some funds left over from the last shipment. We can use them to copy and modify radio serials. Yes. Not just magazines, but their precious dramas. Unbelievable. I hope I don't have to tell you this, but if there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't know, food and medicine? Graham, if you need me, I'll be in triage. Gonna need to buy myself an entire Rizzo plant after all this. It's a fine morning, isn't it? I have some question for you. Let's ask about Tucker. Tell me about the Iconoclasts. Iconoclasts are free folk. We live under our rules, motivated by our own beliefs. All petals on the same flower of enlightenment. Meanwhile, the board strangles the will of its workers. It is the penultimate exercise of a poisoned society where people are enslaved by a corporate ladder. We seek to replace their way of life with ours. Philosophism. Is the key to unlocking their shackles. Would it be dangerous to let anarchy run up rampant? This is not anarchy. Society requires structure, Captain. It is just that the board's structure is killing the colony. Ours will not. All right, fair enough. I want to know more about your teachings. Awakening is available to all whose minds are ready to accept it. What would you like to know? I would like to know what you think Bokonu meant when he wrote, Your work is to discover the truth, and then with all your heart, give yourself to it. Ah, how refreshing to have a scholar among us. Bokonu's text simply refers to our entire purpose, assisting the universe in realizing its own truth. Let it guide us as it will. It refers to giving oneself over to the plan. It is not some peon to an invisible creator in the sky. I'm not so sure. Let's hear him out. Let them talk. All right, let's, let's just let him talk. Were there a truth to the grand plan in the first place, I and Bakonu might agree. But what we see as divine purpose is just one facet of the universe figuring itself out. To quote, as a child looking at the leg of an elephant, unable to view it whole, we mistake the tiny scope of our understanding as the unfathomably large purpose of the universe. You're not completely full of shit, I'll give you that. Even if you do twist things beyond recognition to suit your own beliefs. Let them talk. Were my teachings beyond recognition, I dare say I wouldn't have a small army of followers who understand and believe. I owe you an apology. I expected you to be a complete idiot. I'd say you're actually more in the 25% idiocy range. Likewise. Now, I'm sorry. What was it you were asking? Okay. You hear the word eternal thrown around a lot. What is it? What do you mean by the awakening? Did you believe in a creator? Or do you believe in a creator? Uh, I hear the word eternal thrown around a lot. What is it? Uh, the eternal. 
We are all part of the consciousness of the cosmos. Each of us plays a tiny role in the universe's continual journey toward understanding itself. You and I, and the rats and the mantis swarms, divinity is in us all, and the eternal is that divinity. Even OSI, are there members similarly to divine? I must be more divine than a beast. I don't believe any of this, how can I be divine? Even OSI. Everyone, regardless of ability to believe, is another facet of the universe contemplating its own existence. Ability to believe? I think you mean inability to tell fantasy from truth, which rules out any knowledgeable scientician. Let us be clear. Neither of us can lay claim to being knowledgeable on this topic. It is a matter of belief. It is not as if OSI has gone and proven anything. Regardless, what were you saying? What do you mean by awakening? The point of no return. When your mind fully opens to the eternal truth, every philosophist experiences it along the path to enlightenment. For many, it is the first brush with the cold of death when they realize that all of their lives have boiled down into the single truth of that moment. Mine was witnessing my friend and colleague transform into the very evil we sought to combat. Now he runs MSI, just like the overlords before him. What friend was that? Sanjar Nandi. He leads MSI out of Stellar Bay. Such a shame, the way his sensibilities have been corrupted over time. Do you believe in a creator? Not in the sense of a single entity, fashioning the universe as a whittler fashions a flute. The universe came into being over time, organically, naturally, and without purpose. In that sense, I suppose you could say that in the interest of finding its purpose, the universe itself created all living things. The universe doesn't need to find its purpose. It is a mathematically perfect equation that gives mankind purpose. That we'd consider ourselves in any way capable of understanding the universe, much less an equation that drives it, is nothing but hubris. All right, never mind. Okay. Why have you come? Fine, Tucker. Okay, do we all forget suddenly to talk about finding Tucker? Let's see here. Look for Tucker. That's the one I want to do right now. 70. Okay, let's go this way. Alright, where is he at? This way? What is this, the barracks? Looks like I'm not the only new face around here. Yeah, yeah little boy. My ass. Yeah, I knew he was going to be a fully grown adult. Uh, stranger seems to be just fine. Oh, come on. We like to be friendly around here. At the least, let me call you captain. Whether or not you command a ship, if you've found your way here, you must be a leader type. So then, captain, welcome to Amber Heights. Oh, and uh, call me Tucker. You here to join the Iconoclasts? Help us free this world? Tucker, you're Agnes's little boy from Stellar Bay. Uh, yeah, let's ask. I am not a little boy. See, I knew it. For decades, I'm with no you, Tucker. What my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me. I'd hope she'd accept my decision. She made it seem like you were in danger. Asked me to rescue you. She offered a reward to anyone who brings you back to Stellar Bay. Yeah, I'm gonna say that one. Let me guess. You're here to collect it. Well, I can tell you right now, it is not gonna happen. I won't go back. My entire life, she locked me in Stellar Bay because she was afraid. Don't go play with friends. Bantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Marauders can violate you. You'd fall in a sulfur pool. <laughs> I stuck around way too long. 
ruled by her I told you he was in his 40s I knew it old, but she still sees me as a little boy in need of her protection I won't stand for it I tell you poor guy persuade running away is for cowards you need to face her until show her you've grown up I'm gonna get that re reward either you go back or I beat it out of her <laughs> uh, so what do you do about it uh, she keeps sending people to look for you you're going back to Stellar Bay one way or another. Uh, let's persuade. No, let's intimidate. That one's hilarious. Captain, what are you saying? Yeah, what? What in the nebula is wrong with you? She's an old woman. <laughs> you threaten my flesh and blood just to get me to do what you want? But just no, not really. Just for cash. Nothing personal, but I want that money. There you go. Shrug. Leave conversation. Relax. It's only kidding. Nothing personal, but I want that money. Sick. Sure, she drives me crazy, but she doesn't deserve anyone getting violent with her. Look, I'll go back, all right. Just don't hurt her. <laughs> that was great. What do you got to say, Parvati? Yeah, huh? yeah, that's what I thought. What about you? What? What? God, God, quit doing that, Vicar. I've been mulling over everything with Graham and the Iconoclasts. Upon further reflection, Graham's not as much of an idiot as I thought he'd be. But in other ways, he's worse. I'd urge you to be careful in future dealings with him, Captain. Oh. He's an unhinged zealot who lacks a Relax. Of consequences of his choices. I wouldn't trust him to lead a crew, let alone a town-wide cult. It's the lesser of two evils. Who do you trust to run, Monarch? If I wanted your opinion, I've asked for it. Who would you want trust to run Monarch? As much as I usually appreciate the board's ordered approach to governance, in Monarch's case, they aren't really running anything so much as leaving everyone to rot. Unless you agree with them that the inhabitants of Monarch should be forced to evacuate or die from their stubborn rebelliousness. Zora is militant, unbending, and ruthless for sure. I'd be hesitant to oppose her, but she gets results, and she doesn't suppress intelligent discourse. Can't say I agree with the iconoclasts, but Zora has what it takes to save Monarch. Hmm. Okay. Fair enough. Let's see here. What I need to do here. Turn to Agnes and celebrate. Oh, she's gonna be a little upset. You threatened to hurt Agnes for her money. Unless Tucker return. <laughs> uh, I guess it's my consequences. Okay. Uh, can I go ahead and just fast travel from here? Let's see, I should be able to. Let's see here. Can I do it? Can I do it? Where am I at? Stellar Bay. What's this over here? Amber Heights. Yeah, we got all these down here as well still. Bayside Terrace ruins. I'm pretty sure that's the way they told me to go, but let's head back to Stellar Bay first. Agnes is going to be up all, but hey, whatever, it worked. Oh, Captain, you did it! My little boy is back safe and sound! Tell the Captain how grateful we are, Tuck Tuck. Tuck Tuck. So grateful, Captain. And don't worry, I'm never leaving Mama alone. She'll be very safe from anyone who wants to hurt her. <laughs> strange thing to say. Silly boy, you know it's my job to protect you, not the other way around. Boy's place is with his mama. Well, I'm sure Tucker just wants you to be happy and healthy. You mentioned a reward. I'm sure Tucker just wants you to be happy and healthy. Well, having him home safe and sound makes me happy. Don't you worry, my boy. I'll never let you out of my sight again. Don't look at me when you say that. Yes, mama. Here, kind stranger. This is every bit I've scrimped and scraped for years to save. But it's more than worth it to have my Tuck Tuck home safe again. Now I've got that money, you can go, Tucker. <laughs> what? What do you mean? My Tucker's not going anywhere. <laughs> you, me. you mean it? I can go free? And you won't hurt my mama if I do? Heck no. Only one of the bits. I don't care what you do now. Intimidate. No, I don't mean it. Leave her side again. You'll regret it, you moron. 
I only wanted to mint. Oh, I kind of want the experience points. Eh, I only wanted the bits. I don't care what you do now. What's this about leaving? You're home now. You said you wanted to come back. You're safe again. I never wanted to come back, Mama. I only said that because he threatened to hurt you if he couldn't collect the reward you were offering. Now, I'm going back to Amber Heights. I love being an iconoclast, free of this stifling town, free of you. Goodbye, Mama. Tucker, no, please don't go. Don't leave me again. I'll go find your Tuck Tuck and give you a 50% discount this time. Since I know how to get there fast. Oh, well, there he goes. There he goes. Off into the night. Let's talk to her. All I wanted was to keep my baby safe. Why would he do this? Hmm. I don't know, because he's 42 years old, making his own decisions. Completely capable. That sort of thing. Alright, let's head on back here. See what we can do. About this pretty press. I think maybe we can just go straight there. Uh, where was it? Not this one. Printing press. Rollers. So where are we supposed to go for this? Bayside Terrace. Should have a shipment. Okay, yep, we can do that. Bayside Terrace. We can fast travel there. Monarch's not that bad. Whoa! That was crazy. Sorry for disorienting everybody so badly. Do I, have to, I think I have to actually go inside these doors. I think. Oh, it's sealed. Okay, maybe not. I have to go this way? Hmm. Oh, apparently. Okay. Looks like maybe I do. Niles, okay. Looks like he's gonna be a friendly. Excuse me, but this area's off limits. We got a leaky generator. It ain't safe. That's my nice way of telling you to saw it off. I'm about to tell you that you got a leaky cranium. Which isn't safe. What's going on here? Need to get inside. Tack, nobody tells me to saw it off. Uh what's going on here? Fixing a leaky generator. What's it to you? Niles, you better check your tone. Supposed to meet someone here. What? That's what. What's wrong with the generator? Why are you out here fixing a generator in the middle of nowhere? Supposed to meet someone here. That's what. Right. Carlotta. Yeah, she's inside. We got first rights, though. Soon as we fix that generator, she's ours. Hmm. I don't think so. Why are you after her? How long will that take? Why are you after her? To ask the boss. I just know she wants Carlotta voided. Hmm. That's not acceptable. And I'm you just going you walk on in. Why is that now? Hmm. Persuade. Here for Carlotta. I get it. I'll let all offer. You get paid. We all go home with a win. Well, I'm here to investigate reports of a mantis swarm infestation. Uh, yeah, let's do the lie. Oh, of all the void damn. We're not gonna bribe for twenty one hundred bits. I need a lie for a couple of bits. Pack it up, crew. We're going, we're going. Keep walking, wrong leech. Uh, I think you're the one that's going, not me. Morons. These people are stupid. What are you looking at? Alright. Let's go talk to her real quick. Probably an intercom system here. It's too quiet. What are you up to out there? Hello? Relax, the sub -like squad's gone. We want to talk about salvation through the order scientific inquiry. <laughs> Carlotta, is that you? Or a lot is that you? Yeah, and for the hundredth time, I'm not opening this door. Who are you anyway? Charlie Zim, Graham sent me to collect supplies. Just friendly neighborhood iconoclast. Doesn't matter who I am, I'm here to pick up Graham supplies. There you go. Oh, for finally. Tell Graham that this is the last run I'm doing. Sanjar's declared a stop sale to you lot, but even if he hadn't, I'm not risking my neck anymore. What's up, Carlotta? I don't know how you got those goons to leave, but thank you. Graham ordered rollers and what's-its, right? For a printing press? Here, take them. Like I said, this is my last run. 
Get uh, high capacity cartridges or extra supplies? Yeah. Why does Sancho ban, ban you from working with the counter class? Why have you been helping Graham? Where will they get their supplies now? Why does Sar Sancho ban you from You'd working with them? Him. All I know is that if I get caught, I'll get arrested. Why have you been helping Graham? It's an enviable thing he's doing. Free people and all that. I can't live that way. I need my structure. But I respect the iconoclasts for doing it. Where will they get their supplies now? Law help them. I don't know. Maybe Sublight can lend a hand. I should go. Look, Graham's got a bit or two left in his account. I can send one last dropout before I wash my hands of this. What do you want delivered? Graham's looking for some high capacity data charges. So I suggest extra food and medicine. Let's go with extra food and medicine since we've already helped Graham out. With the rollers. I always took that woman for the sensible type. Good on her. I'll send some along. Give them all my regards. And good luck out there. Don't go getting eaten. All right, level up time. Oh, we get a perk as well. All right. Shut up, my leadership. I don't know. Could bump that up to companions gain plus 20 armor rating. Oh, sign me up. There we go. Companion skill bonus to player skills. Plus 100%. Wow. Okay. I think I need to start upping my leadership. Dang. Especially since I take my people everywhere. All right, let's lock that in. Let's grab another perk here. Health restored 15% per kill. That's probably pretty helpful. 50% eh, movement speed during TTD. Bonus to extra headshot, weak spot damage. Directable highlight range. I can always go back here and get one of these too. I think I want to go with that 15% health restored per kill. Since we're starting to run into some tougher enemies. Yeah. Probably come in handy. Help me from dying quite as much. We got through here. Anything? Oh yeah, this is all fair game. Hmm. This kind of looks like something I should get into. Let's do it. Don't know if that was worth it, but fine. The vermin. Is that the same as this one? Yeah. Got some sort of mod there. Let's see what that mod was. Would be here. Yeah, that's the one I just got. Hunter kit. Range weapon skills plus five. Increases your range weapon skills. Extendo site. All right. What we got here. It's not another plasma carbine. Ooh, that helmet looked kind of nice. What was that? Probably junk. It's not too. Nah, it's not as great as mine. Inspiration plus three though. It might be worth it. I think we're going to do that. Inspiration plus three. Yeah. Sneak plus five on that. The armor's so low on that. That'd be worthless. All right. Well, since I dropped this one off, let's see if anybody wants this one. Who wants this? Lockpick plus five. Let's let's give it to. Yeah, let's give it to him. There we go. I think I'm gonna hook her up with it with a, a new helmet too. 
Or is it 17? Oh, I guess these are all at 17. Okay, that's good enough. What am I encumbered now? Can't run? 199. Crap. Can't fast travel either. Let's drop some of this food junk that I have. Yeah, let's drop all those. That took us underweight. Okay, good enough. It's a shame having all this ammo. Okay, let's uh, head on back here to Amber Heights. Complete out this quest. Seems like a nice little town, except for all the dead critters. Damn philosophers. I guess he's still upstairs, it looks like. I'm telling you, the Van Noys are fine. Bullshit, Graham. They don't just abandon orders, and they weren't at the ruins. Where in this sulfur-sodden hellhole did you send them? They're on a very important... Ah, we'll continue this later. Welcome back, Captain. All right, got your rollers. The rest of your account went to food and medicine. Thank the Eternal that someone's got some sense in their head. Carlotta usually schedules the next drop during the meeting. When's she coming? She isn't. Sanjar has declared a stop sale on goods to the Iconoclast. Got bad news. Sanjar made it illegal to sell to you guys. I don't know what she did to piss them off, but Sanjar isn't selling you anymore. Yeah, I don't know what she did to piss them off, but Sanjar is not selling you anymore. The board must have gotten a hold of him at last. This cuts off one of our only two supply lines on Monarch. Sanjar, old friend, you're about to cross a dangerous line. About to? That idiot just declared war. I... we will deal with his subversion later. For now, we must redouble our efforts to spread the truth to the colony. What's next? Time to fix up, fix up the Prince and Press, then? Let me ask you something about spreading the truth. Uh, what's next? I've already sent a team ahead to scout the press. One of our best. Meet them there and find out if they've been successful. You sent the Vanoys there, didn't you? Oh, for fuck's sake, Graham! We needed them in the ruins! Our people died out there! They went willing to fight for our cause. We need reinforcements. We need new recruits. The Van Noys saw the printing facility with the same importance as I. Is a printing press really worth all these people's lives? There's got to be a better way to get your message out. I have the utmost confidence in their abilities. Friends, we must have faith that the men and women we recruit can handle the duties for which we recruit them. Spreading the word has to be priority number one, otherwise, how can this movement grow? You could have sent them after backing Zora up, right? Do you ever stop bickering? <laughs> you could have sent them after backing up Zora, right? Yes, you're damn right he could have. But he's so obsessed with preaching that he's become blind to our actual problems. Look, just... If the Van Noys are still alive, get them out of there. With Sanjar pressing the issue like this, I have a feeling we'll need them. I'll do everything I can. All right. Repair the printing press and optional retrieve Azora's team. All right, guys, I'm looking here at the clock. It's about time to... It's about time to end it here. So we still got a lot to do here on Monarch. Hope you guys are still enjoying. I know I am. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.